Hello and once again, thank you for joining me for another moment of Private Transformation Minutes and this is Dala Alfonso. It's a beautiful Friday morning, um, Friday afternoon. It's um, nice and warm um, compared to yesterday. Um, so today I'm just um, looking to speak with you about we've been talking about building credible relationships um, how to build cred credible relationships and um, yesterday we spent a little bit of time to talk about additional attributes um, with regards to um, the qualities that an individual uh, needs to focus on especially internally in helping build um, relationships that are credible um, but uh, before we start talking about the external influences uh, or the external relationships particularly offline and online I, I wanted to spend some time um, today to focus on um, the stages of credibility because you know sometimes we we don't take the time we, we we tend to use or think we understand the meanings of certain words without taking the time to fully understand the process um, behind those words so today i want to talk to us about um, the key stages that we need to pay attention to um, with regards to credibility or, or, or building trust in a relationship. And like I said during the last two broadcasts, that it is important for that process to begin um, internally, to begin with yourself. Um, we talked about 10 key attributes that you need to pay attention to. But today, let me talk about the stages of credibility because as we begin to talk more um, about credibility or building trust with regards to um, our online relationships our offline relationships you know with friends family and mentors it is very very important for you to understand what stage you're in and then how to boost or, or, or build that relationship the first thing you have to pay attention to is something called your rapport or your or your connection there are just people that show up in your life um, from day one and you can just connect with them. You, 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 you talk about stuff that makes no sense to anybody else, but it makes sense to you. And you talk for hours and hours and hours. There are people that you just connect with and get along with. Um, it is one measure that is important uh, for you to pay attention to, especially when trying to build credible relationships. How do you get along with people? How is the communication flow? Are you struggling to um, transcend one topic to the other? Are you in your mind constantly thinking about what's the next thing we're going to talk about or what's the next um, course of action? Rapport is very, very important. It's too often you can just walk into a room and you connect with certain people mentally, intellectually, intellectually, spiritually, um, socially, and on, on so many levels. It is very important for you to pay attention to those relationships as well, to pay attention to those individuals. Maybe those are people that you really need to um, give a little bit more time than those whom you can even get along with. The second thing I'll say, the next stage or the next step would be that of trust. Trust ex exists for one primary purpose, and that is to speed up the process of influence. You see, once you get along with somebody, it, okay, let, let, let me back up a little bit and try to connect the dots here. There are people that you, and I can speak in my life, there are individuals that I just meet for the first time and i can mention names i just meet them for the first time and we just hit it off you know and some could be mentors some could be peers some could even be proteges and in the process you just you're like you've known this person all your life you know you can just you connect and what that does is that immediately it begins to establish trust if you can connect with somebody and have a good rapport with them it immediately establishes trust and that trust begins to speed up the next step which is influence now why is trust important trust is important because it, it, there, there is an inner witness if I'm to use that term there is something in you that validates that this person is dependable there is something that immediately says Says that there is something in we have something in common here there's something we that we can relate to even though it is unspoken as it were so it is very very important for you to um, have trust and trust in itself helps influence and speed up the process um, 
of uh, trust helps speed up the process of establishing influence now the next thing you want to pay attention to is the next step which I mentioned is influence what is influence influence is simply changing the way a person thinks influence is simply giving a little bit more insight with regards to the thought processes of another it is helping somebody else to see things in a little bit different dimension that they typically would now the thing about influence influence is that um, a lot of people do not pay attention to its power a lot of people do not pay attention to the power of influence because influence is such a powerful thing that it can change the world some of the greatest um, outcomes that we've seen around the world um, be it positive or negative has been a result of influence you you if you watch the um, elections today or you watch the dynamics of the American um, election that is coming up you find out that people are posting stuff the media is involved all kinds of politicians and businessmen and everybody's jumping on board and saying their own piece and backing their own candidates it, it's not not because um, you know there's nobody else that can come out and speak but the thing is that they have something called influence and so they're exerting that to try to bring about the next step or the next stage which is called persuasion which is making you to act upon uh, the things that they've shared based on um, their own um, perception or their own positions or um, what they believe you know as it were so it is very very important for you as an individual to pay attention to these things now remember private transformation exists um, as a program to do something very very straightforward which is to raise up on common people all around the world who would have the capacity and the ability based on their knowledge and wisdom to bring about a radical change or to bring about influence in their sphere of um, in their spheres of life so it, that is the vision so it is important for you to pay attention to these credible relationships because it will too often define the outcome of your relationships so number one remember you have to have rapport when you have good rapport with certain people pay attention to those relationships invest in those relationships you know reach out to the folks that you are connected with um, on that platform let you know sometimes it's just to say hello and see how things are going and how their day has been and you know pay attention to the things that they do then number two that rapport will bring about trust and trust in itself basically will drive um, uh, the things that you'll be willing to share with that individual it will open doors it will establish connections it will it, it, whenever opportunities come you're thinking about those that you have a rapport and can trust um, to be able to make things happen because you feel you know them so that is key and that in itself leads to the third stage which is a stage of influence influence having to do with creating outcomes that you desire or outcomes that are driven by specific values and interests of the people um, that you trust and then lastly persuasion which is acting upon those um, um, those points of influence all right so these are very very important and I, and I think if you understand the foundation of what we've been talking about this week with regards to building credibility first starting within yourself you know what that will happen is that it lays the foundation for you to begin to establish these next steps in your relationships with other people outside your immediate sphere of influence so I will say Pay attention to these things. These are very, very important. And um, as you apply them to your life, you begin to find out, as you begin to, you know, closely evaluate your relationships and how um, they work in your life, you begin to see that um, certain people will naturally begin to fall off and then some other people will begin to get a little bit more of your time. You know, um, as somebody who travels the world and who um, has the opportunity of having relationships pretty much at every level around the world by, his, by the grace of God, you know, I've realized that there are certain relationships that tend to drain my time. Uh, and there are those that just add value even if uh, it's just for a five-minute connection once a week or once a month so it is important for you 
to pay attention to these interactions in, in your relationships and then that will naturally begin to help you dissect and, dis uh, and discern what relationships you should invest in, which ones you should begin to throw out, what ones should you even not pay attention to. You know, um, it, it's always interesting sometimes when certain people contact me, it doesn't matter what time of the day it is, and I respond. Not because um, I have all the time in the world, but it's simply because I understand that those relationships add value to me. And there are those that just contact you and um, I'm waiting to see what the outcome is. I'm trying to evaluate to see, you know, is there even a rapport here? I mean, if I'm struggling or if, if I have to in mentally exert effort to start thinking about what's the next thing we're going to be talking about, then it tells me that it's not even a relationship worth investing in. So pay attention to those relationships in your life and um, begin to evaluate way to see if they truly truly uh, are worthy of your time or if they will even be um, uh, positioned at all with the potential of uh, building credibility in your life all right so thank you so much for joining me for yet another episode of private transformation minutes um, I'll be signing off here for the weekend and um, handing you over to your pastors to take care of you um, this weekend and it's been a blessing just to be able to share these topics with you now next week we're going to continue this series but we're going to be focusing more on relationships especially online relationships especially offline relationships we need to talk about the balance in those so that you can understand how to build credible relationships both online and and offline so please make sure you share these videos post them to your timelines and don't forget if you haven't um, been, been notified about these broadcasts make sure you like our page private transformation network on Facebook um, you can go to www.privatetransformation.com um, and connect with us and what we're doing I'm really excited that this program is going to be launching in full next year 2017 um, starting in Africa and um, other parts of the world where we're really excited about it so join me join me every weekday Mondays through Fridays um, to discuss new topics uh, as we feel led to um, or as we're exploring this and point your questions out put your questions out on this page um, and I'll try to address them to the very best that I can so God bless you have a great weekend and I will look forward to seeing you again next week on another moment of private transformation minutes